Hey crafty friends, it's Jen from Katahdin Crafts back on the Not Too Shabby YouTube channel today. I made this fun slimline card that says we go together like coffee and donuts. It features the stamp sets that were released in May with the coffee theme. The first one that I'm using today is Yum Yum. Now, Yum Yum has, not unfortunately, because yay, because he's so popular and cute, he has sold out in the stamp form, but you can still get him in the digital form. And I also used I Heart Coffee. And then there is another set that I do not use in today's card, but they are super cute, and it's called Drink the Coffee. And Jamie also has Trinity stamps and dies in the shop. I am using the mini modern embossed slimline die set for my car today. Now I did take off the larger die that comes in the set, but I chose to keep the circles in the center attached and that way I get a perfectly spaced or perfectly spaced circles as you can see there. So I'm not sure if I'll ever remove those circles because I like the idea of it being lined up well for me. Now I did cut two different backgrounds. I cut one in craft and I cut one in white because I wanted the the centers, the circles to be white so I can stamp on those, but I wanted a different contrasting color in the back. So I am using the cute little coffee mug that is our coffee cup that is in the Yum Yum set. And I'm just stamping that randomly on my background with Ground Espresso Oxide ink. I did slip a piece of um, regular copy paper underneath my project because I knew that I was going to be going over the edges. I like that look. And again, it's just random. I'm also using that donut that is in that same set. And I'm just filling in the spaces, no rhyme or reason, no pattern. I just wanted to go for it and just stamp it on there. Now for the next step with my circles, I am going to pull out my Misty. I'm going to use the same Ground Espresso ink though and then stamp these on the on the centers. It was easier to use the Misty just to make sure that I did get my image centered. So I put the magnet on the circle and then I laid down my stamp and that is how I made sure that they were each lined up perfectly. And I'm using my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink for each of the stamps because it is Copic marker friendly and I am going to fill these in with some Copic markers. And now we've got the cute donuts. Now I wanted a stack of donuts so what I did first was stamp one down and then I used some of my masking paper and I just stamped a quick one and fussy cut that out and then laid it on top of the stamp that I had already stamped in that that allowed me to stamp two more donuts and then it appears that that one is in the the foreground and you can see that magic it's always fun when you pull off a mask I'm gonna put one more on the top the way that I'm lining up the donuts on this circle meant that I only had to put the mask on the middle donut because that's the only ones that were overlapping and I did stamp each one of them down twice all of my images and that is the great thing about the Misty. Now I'm just going to remove that and I have a cool stack of donuts. You can see how they're all going to fit back in there perfectly and it's going to work because you've got coffee and donuts and we go together like coffee and donuts. Perfect. And now it's time to ink up the edges. I'm going to grab out that ground espresso one more time. And I'm going to take off a little bit of the excess and then do a little heavy, heavier pressure on the outside edges and then fade that in to the center. Or to the center, I should say, to the images because I didn't go onto the images. I just kind of went right up to them. The middle one I did do a little bit heavier because I wasn't going to put any color on that at all. Next up is to add some color to our images and doing this on the, the white cardstock rather than the craft cardstock made it so the Copic colors would come out a lot brighter than they would have and that's why even though we went back in and put that ink around the edges to make it match but now we can have some bright colors pop out of now, this card I'm doing card very for simple coloring contrast. for this card. I'm going to have all the caps there for you to see. Um, but I'm going to speed this up a bit, but I am going to chat with you a little bit about the Not Too Shabby subscription box. 
This has been a campaign that Jamie started about two months ago, or yes, two months ago. The April box was Pampered Lazy Days, which was really cute. And then this month's theme were, was coffee, a coffee theme. And she sold out of the Yum Yum stamp set, the paper packs, and the eph ephemera. So if you want to get these, you're going to have to start getting them fast because they are selling out because they're so adorable. I'm telling you, the month of June it is not going to disappoint. I am lucky to be on this team because I have the month of June already in hand. And I'm telling you, it is not going to disappoint. So make sure that you check out these monthly subscription boxes. You can get a couple of these stamps still, but the paper is amazing. It has a nice heavy weight and a really nice finish to it. I just absolutely love the quality of her papers and her stamps and her ephemera. It's wonderful. So I highly suggest getting on that subscription box list and make sure that you do not miss out on these boxes because they are in limited supply. When they're out, they're out, um, but they're really fun to work with and yeah. So that is my spiel about the not too shabby subscription box. Make sure that you go to the link below and check it out. Now I'm using Catherine Pooler's Be My Ink and just adding a little word, the little word sweet to my background. I thought it needed a little bit more pink to be pulled into the background. I contemplated coloring those donuts, but again, the craft paper just doesn't hold that alcohol ink very well. So it just, it would have been muddy. So this was a good way to add a little bit of the pink. So originally I was going to go with that brown, that dark brown background, but then I started thinking, hmm, I think we need yep, yeah, some more pink in this card because pink is my favorite color. So I, I thought that this nice dusty rose pink would be nice for a background. And maybe I made the wrong decision. You can let me know um, in the comments below. But I'm going to take this and use that larger die from the Trinity step and cut that out. And you can see that that's why it's embossed. It's got like this beveled edge around, around it and it just finishes off that die really nice and gives that nice little look on the back. And I decided that I was gonna use foam tape and pop all of my images up, my background and my circles, and just give this card a little bit of dimension. For my card base, I did a white cardstock nine by four. That is my personal favorite size for slimline cards, but I didn't like all the white that was on the edge so you know what? I thought this was a perfect way to bring that brown back in, that darker brown for some really nice contrast. So I cut a background piece eight and a half, or sorry, eight and three quarters by three and three quarters, and then that fit that Trinity die perfectly. And then I was able to triple mat that onto my card base. To finish up my card today, I'm using some Red Hot Hots from Honeybee Stamps and just randomly adding them to my background. And I thought that that pulled that red from the heart in the, the coffee cup out perfectly. And then of course we have to add a little shine. So I'm using my clear Wink of Stella on that heart and on those strawberry donuts and giving them a look of the glazed donut and a little on top of the whipped cream on the coffee. And that will finish up our card for today. Thank you so much for crafting with us. I really appreciate it. Make sure you go and check out those subscription boxes and all of the not too shabby items in the shop. Everything that I use today, you can find there. I will have it all linked below for you. And again, I'm Jen from Katahdin Crafts. And thank you so much for stopping in with me today. Take care.